Now, we're expecting big things from Samsung next week, but they're quietly making some other phone announcements. Tell me. That's right. So after a lot, we're expecting big news uh, next week with uh, a potential S23 phone. And of course, when we see it, I'll have it here and I'll take you all the way through it. But what we're looking at here is the release of a new sensor. Now, they had one sensor that was 200 megapixels. This is another version. It's uh, the HP2, 200 megapixels. What does that mean, Tim? 200 megapixels means that they can not only just use that for high resolution but really sharp photos, but they can combine a lot of these pixels together to give you better low light performance, better uh, high dynamic range. So I can't wait to see this implemented even better phones down the track. So that's pretty exciting. They also announced this 360 audio recording, which uses your Buds 2 Pro to actually record the sound around you in 360. So that's Pretty cool. You know, they've already moved into the Dolby Atmos area with their foldable phones, but uh, you can do that with uh, the 360 recording with uh, your latest Galaxy phone. So there's a number of things that have been announced recently and heading into next week. Uh, we're pretty excited about seeing what uh, the next device is going to be. If it's true and it lands next week, I'll have one right here. All right, we look forward to that. Now, I know you're a big fan of the Terminator films, but is it true that we've already caught up with science fiction? It's not fiction anymore. You know, I like to go around the internet and find you stuff that's pretty cool. And it looks like we're catching up. Do you remember from Terminator 2 that uh, scene here in the jail cell where the T-1000 morphed its way through? Well, guess what? That fiction has become reality. Now, these universities in the US and Hong Kong have been able to make this little metallic robot that starts from a, looks like a little Lego object. It's then uh, heated through electromagnetic waves and it melts through just like the T-1000, Tim, and goes through the bars and then it's re able to reform at the other side. And it's controllable. These things have uh, are controlled essentially like little magnets in them, and you can move them around. And here's an example of what it can do in a fake stomach, where it can move through the stomach, control it externally, uh, grab a foreign object, and take it out the other side. You know, you can think about making a screw, like it, it will be a solid object, it, get, it forms itself into a special screw, and then it melts away again. This is incredible stuff, but it looks like uh, Skynet is real, and now the robots are melting. The T-1000 is going to come and get us, Tim. What's going to happen? <laughs> yeah, and you know what? You'll be back next week. <laughs> I love it. I love Arnie. Good on you, Jira. Love you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Tim.